for supporting that. Okay, we have three facilities. Uh, Customer A will try facility one as a first choice. If facility one fails, they will try facility two, and so on. Okay, so this is the possibility now. Every customer gets served by two choices. And the prior definition, obviously, the decision variable x will be one to three, and you can three, right? One to three. <laughs> three we don't know the location yet, but just type a set. Okay. Why would be the each of this is a vector telling us what are the choice of each customer? The customer near neighborhood A would try facility one first. And try facility two second. Okay, then B would try facility one first and then facility three next. If both of them fail, they go home with the panel. Okay. And then facility C, they will try facility two first and try facility one as a backup. Okay. So this is sort of the, the definition of our notation. What do we mean by assignment plan? Okay. So just a loose uh, sort of a formulation of the problem. I want to introduce this a little bit. Just bear with me, please. I know this is not nice. Uh, we are trying to minimize, remember, the construction cost of the facilities as well as the expected cost with normal and failed scenarios. So there could be a case that the, the customers just go home with a panel right, if everything fails. So this file, remember, is a, is a, is a failure of penalty cost by x. And the p bar we define as a probability for the demand and x not to be served. So if the probability that this customer would not have a choice of going anywhere. You know, everything fell for me. Okay. This third term is the expected service cost. If this guy eventually gets service, what is the expected cost I'm going to have? So this, um, you can see that this guy is going to try a set of J. J is actually the list of facilities assigned to them. And then X minus XJ is the distance or cost metric between a facility and a customer for this customer. And this P is defined to be the probability.